Hello, I'm Julie Campion and I'm the clinical lead for Veterans NHS Wales in Hawadha. I'm joined today by my colleague Claire Young. Claire is a veterans therapist in Veterans NHS Wales and we work together. With Armed Forces Day around the corner, we wanted to tell you about our service. And to do so, we gathered some questions from veterans about what they really wanted to know about our service. Having this conversation today, we hope we'll answer those questions by telling you about our service. COVID-19 has brought a lot of challenges to every one of us, but Veterans NHS Wales is still open. So if you need our service, please get in touch. So Veterans NHS Wales supports veterans with mental health problems that are directly linked to their military service. Veterans NHS Wales is a national service, so each health board has their own team, but we work together across Wales to make sure we're offering the best services we can, regardless of where in Wales you live. And this means we can share ideas and learn from each other about how to do our very best for the veterans who need our help. Yeah, so let's talk about the services that we provide. So the first thing we do is to talk with you about what you might need. This includes looking at your physical health, um, your social and employment needs, so not just your mental health. And we can help you connect with other services who can also offer you help. So our services are provided in your local community. So it's a bit like attending an outpatient's appointment with a physio. You stay at home, but attend appointments with your therapist, usually once a week when you're having treatment. And we offer treatments usually called talking therapies, which we know can help veterans who have a mental health problem that stems from their military service. Not necessarily from combat, it might be a stressful event that occurred whilst on a training exercise. And you know, after a traumatic or a stressful event, however big or small the event was, veterans can become depressed, anxious or even numb. Some might develop PTSD and relive that experience over and over, even many years later. We offer different types of treatments, but all designed to help with these kinds of problems. So there are lots of similarities in the treatments. They're all intended to reduce or even get rid of the problems the individual is having by learning new ways of coping with these problems, making changes to how you feel, how you think, and what you do. And when a stressful event has occurred, sometimes veterans understandably end up trying to avoid thinking about it, but it just keeps popping up, even a very long time after the event has happened. Treatment might involve looking back and sorting out those past events. It might be about learning to cope differently in the here and now, but also most importantly, it's about planning for the future. So during treatment, you would meet with the same therapist and that would usually be every week and it's usually for about 60 to 90 minutes. The important thing is to choose the right treatment for you. The therapist helps with this, but you're always central to this decision. Some treatments are completed in 12 sessions, others take less or sometimes more sessions but treatment is always tailored to the individual and what they need. So sometimes treatments can seem completely counterintuitive because we're asking veterans to think about the events that they've, they've been trying to avoid, perhaps for a very long time. But we do this knowing that this treatment can help. As one veteran described it, get rid of the demons in my head. And it doesn't matter how long ago the stressful event happened or even how long you've had the problems because treatment can still help. I know Claire that some veterans are concerned that their symptoms might come back even after they've finished treatment. Yeah, so one part of treatment is dedicated to planning how you'll manage after therapy has finished and putting a plan in place so you know what you need to do in order to keep well but also a plan so you know what to do if you start to feel unwell again. Well, over the past decade, it's been a real privilege to help 
so many veterans with the problems they've faced because of their military experiences. It's been personally very rewarding to see them be able to leave behind the burdens they've been carrying for many years. One veteran described how treatment helped him to make sense of the past and ended years of confusion for him. I think what's truly amazing is that some veterans have told us that therapy has changed their lives. And some veterans have even said the service saved their life. I think Armed Forces Day really is an opportunity to offer our thanks to our veterans for all their sacrifice and also an opportunity to offer them hope for the future. If you think Veterans NHS Wales can help, please get in touch.